props can be a fantastic way to create a nice relaxed atmosphere for your subject when you're taking their photo. Now when I talk about a prop, that could be um, a favourite object, um, a keepsake, a photo, an article of clothing, anything that brings back a memory or a story in your subject. When your subject is holding a prop in their hands and you invite them to speak about that particular thing, it creates a connection, it creates um, a moment where they're relaxed, where they're engrossed in story, and you'll often find a really interesting connection at play between your subject, the prop that they're holding, and you. And you'll be able to capture that in photo imagery. When someone is really engrossed in conversation and they're in a space they feel comfortable with, you're gonna get the absolute best of them as well. For instance, this is a little prop that I brought along just to show you today. Now for me, um, I love this clock, it's called Today. And it's a, a uniquely made desk clock which basically has only one hand on it. And this hand will do one complete rotation in 24 hours. What I love about this clock is it reminds me about presence in the day. And it reminds me about um, that it's not the minutes and the hours that count, it's the moment where we are in the day. And so for me, by way of example, if you are photographing me, getting me to hold this prop and to speak about why I love this clock and what it means to me gives you ample opportunities to be able to move around, find a good angle of me with a prop and me interacting and explaining to you what I love about this. Plenty and plenty of opportunities for you to take great photos at the same time of me engrossed in something that means something to me. You see what I mean? So first up, use a prop as a bit of an icebreaker. Use it to help you start a conversation with your subject and to create a space, a safe space, a story space where your subject feels comfortable and where you feel comfortable and involved in their, in their story as well. Now a great thing you can do to, to start using props with um, your photo session is to get your subject to put a couple of things out on the table before you arrive to take their photo. So for instance, if you know you're gonna do a visit with someone, ask them to pull out three things from different stages in their life that are favorite keepsakes, memorabilia. And then with those things on the table, just get your subject to start speaking to them, pick them up one by one, look at them, explain them to you, explain the story of what's wrapped up in that prop. And then that's a great opportunity for you to be able to capture a whole variety of different photos. Wide photos, closed photos, photos of the object, photos of their hand holding the object, photos of their eyes looking at the object. And they will look back at you as they're speaking as well. So there's so many great opportunities there when you're using props in your storytelling to be able to get that unique connection between the subject and your lens. From your subject's perspective, holding a prop in their hands um, when they're speaking or having their photo taken is a wonderful, comfortable distraction. And it gives them something to focus their energy on other than you with your smartphone camera, other than the process of what you're doing. It gives them something to be engrossed in and something to magnetize their attention towards. So it's wonderful for keeping your subject comfortable, keeping them connected, and keeping them relaxed above all while you're taking their photo. Another thing you can do is you can ask your subject to take a photo with your smartphone of that prop themselves. So let them show you how they see it. Let them frame it, let them take a photo, and then let them show the photo to you and explain maybe the photo um, rather than holding the physical prop. That way you can then say, well, would you mind if I have a go? Can you hold the prop and I'll take a photo of you with the prop? You know what, even taking photos of props on their own is a great photo opportunity. I know when my dad passed um, and I was cleaning out his garage, rather than keeping as many things as I possibly could, which was just impractical, I didn't have the space to keep all of his things, I just found a shoebox and I filled that shoebox with as many things that would fit in it that to me typified my father and things that I identified as being a part of him. So some of his work tools, um, a little floppy hat, some glasses, um, a stapler. There's a whole range of different things that were inside that shoebox. But for me, just photographing each of those things individually bring back instant memories of him. 
and I find that it's a great technique to use if the, the, you, your loved one that you're trying to create photos of isn't around anymore. Um, think of going back and finding some of their keepsakes, some of the things that they left you and photographing them because simply looking at those photos will open up a whole world of storytelling that's very um, personal and very uh, deeply rooted to you and your connection to that person as well.